Conga Composer is a tool that allows for custom document merging from data within Salesforce. It allows companies to go and create branded, complex documents from their Salesforce data. The tool supports formats like Excel documents, Word documents, and PDFs. It is a widely regarded tool that is used by many Salesforce instances. One of the challenges with using the tool is that it is slow, there's no way of batching records, and there's no way of tying automation within your business process. One of the cool things that Conga does give you the capability of doing is using Apex to go and merge and create documents without ever touching the record in the UI. This is great because this allows for the automation of sending documents like a receipt. If you're in a B2C situation and you want to send a, an order receipt after a uh, deal is closed one, a B2B setting where you want to automatically send contracts based off of, of opportunity stage and so much more. Today, I want to show you how to go and set this automation up for yourself using some sort of um, template in this video. And I want to show you a quick demo as well. My name is Justin from G2 Technologies and I help businesses improve and automate their Salesforce instances. If you want more information, please see the links down below. Now what we have here today is a demo of a very simple automation where we have an opportunity and when it reaches the closed one stage, we're going to be sending it to this contacts email address here. This contact field on the opportunity is a custom field. So what we'll do is we'll go and move this uh, to the closed one stage. We'll save. We'll give it a few seconds. And what you can see here is a custom email that is sent with a subject, an email comes straight from Salesforce, and you can see this merge document as a PDF. With that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the technicals. If you like this kind of content, please leave a like and subscribe as it helps the channel a lot. For the initial setup, there's two things that I want to cover um, that are outside the scope of the video. One is the initial conga setup. I'm not going to be discussing how to go and set this up. There is good documentation and it is pretty straightforward to set this up. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is just initial setup that you'll need within Salesforce. Um, there's two things that, there's one thing that was specific to this demo, which was that custom lookup object to the contact on the opportunity. And I'm using this as an email to go and send to some sort of end user. So you can see that here. Additionally, you will need a remote site set up to the Conga server. This is done through remote site settings. You can see that I have this Composer API remote site and this URL composer.congamerge.com. The last thing that I want to talk about, which is optional for general Salesforce setup, is your organization-wide address. Now, you can go and use this to specify what email it's coming from, the, the, what email these emails are coming from, and you can go through this process here to set this up. I did not use that for this demo, but this is possible through the email messaging system. If you want to learn more about the email messaging system in Apex, I have a link above. The next thing that we use to go and drive settings is we use a custom metadata to hold the information. This way you can have end users go and update data. You have no need to go and update code within the, or, or within the sandbox to go and maybe update the subject or um, update the body of the email, etc. So you can see here we have a composer automation uh, custom metadata and there's a few custom fields that I made for this. These custom fields would be body which is a long text area. This is used as the body of the email. The file name. This is the file name. 
include date. This allows the file name to be merged from Apex and then also include some sort of date timestamp. Org-wide email, this allows you to specify that org-wide email. Subject, this is gonna be the subject of the email. And the template ID, this is that conga template that you're using to merge the documents. If you don't know how to get this, the easiest way is if you go to the Conga Composer app and you go to the templates section in the URL of the record, you can go and find some sort of um, 18 digit long uh, string. This string can be used to go and put in this template in the custom field and you can go and um, now you have the ID. So you can see here in this Salesforce URL, we have Curious Otter, blah, 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 Lightning, blah, blah, blah. You have this object name, which this happens to be Conga template, and then you have the ID. So we can copy that and um, we could put that in. Now I'm gonna to go to Manage Composer Automations to show you the setup. What I have here is I have a Conga automation called receipt. This could be, like I said, many different things. And you can see this template ID down here. The next thing that I wanna talk about is the Conga solution. While you don't technically need to make this, this is a way to go and um, show how this code is done. Essentially what we're doing is this server URL and beyond. We are going and actually providing that information through Apex. So if you had some much more complex um, system with Conga, like you had multiple templates that you were merging at once, you had uh, multiple queries that you were using for tables, all of that is possible through this. Just know that um, that's outside the scope of this demo. With that, let's jump into the code. I have here the class that I used. Um, this is available publicly, so if you want to go and check the GitHub repository, you're more than welcome to do so. And you can see a couple things here. Like I said, we have this metadata to go and hold the data. Um, there's a session ID which we use to provide uh, Conga that we are who we say we are and they can authenticate us. And we go and query um, the op opportunity fields that we need to basically send the email, not actually merge the document, but send the email. The main juice for the document merging is in this method here, this merge document. We pass in a template ID and uh, there's a couple things going on. Uh, I, I would like to highlight a couple things that aren't covered in the documentation that are not very clear. First thing is the space endpoint is this composer.conga uh, merge. Um, this works for Conga 8. The next thing that I want to talk about is the session ID. This is required and you can get this using a call userinfo.get session ID within Apex. The next thing that I want to talk about is the server URL that you need to pass. Um, there is a way of generating this dynamically, which I have here. Um, I don't want to get into the specifics of this system, but know that A, this API version doesn't matter as long as it is a really API version. And B, uh, you can use either the login URL or the my, my uh, Salesforce URL if you have custom domain. Um, this is not mentioned very well in the documentation, so I figured I would say something here. The last thing is that you do need to have uh, this API mode set. There's a few API modes that you can use. Uh, API mode one is what we need to go and merge through email. One final thing that's omitted from this class is that there is no DS7 parameter. Uh, this is used for background mode which basically it just merges things based on whatever is already provided. Um, it is recommended that you take this parameter out of your button when you're merging through Apex. Additionally, we have 
in this class, we have some code to go and send data to the user. Um, this can go and you know, it's just standard email code. Uh, and the last thing we do is we have some sort of simple opportunity trigger. So this is that trigger using a uh, trigger handler architecture. And if we go to the trigger handler, we can see that we are sending opportunities based on the stage. So when it's hits closed one and it's not in closed one stage, we send this. Like I said, you could customize this more for your business needs. One couple things to note with this uh, setup, we are using a future with callout. Uh, you could also use Cubable, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but for brevity, I, I decided to use a future. And the other thing is that we use um, only one ID here. Uh, so we only send it one time. Conga does have a section on their documentation that says that you are not allowed to run this through a loop um, or, or um, replicate any of their existing functionality. So um, I just like to highlight that. So anyway, with that, that concludes the demo. If you like this content, let me know and I will try to do more. If there's anything you are struggling with in your Salesforce instance and you'd like me to cover that, please leave a comment down below. And with that, thanks and have a good day.